Welcome to another edition of Viva Nista's Tuesday Talks. Today we went out into the community to ask different people about unique ways to give back this holiday season, from gift giving to volunteering. And here's what they had to say. Hi, I'm Tommy. This is my partner Fiona and our baby Emily. <laughs> We're from Australia on holiday and we give a monthly donation to the Cancer Council back home because our families have been touched by cancer. My name's Olivia, and this holiday season I think a unique way to give back would be a book exchange. Uh, a friend of mine did this uh, some years ago, which is where she held a party and everyone had to bring as their, their price, as the price of admission, one unwrapped book that they put under the tree, and the idea was you would bring a book and you would take a book. And it was very interesting to see the things that people brought, the things that were important to them. Um, I brought a, a, a copy of David Copperfield, and I took a copy of Angela's Ashes. Um, you know, there were things like the Truman Biography and that book on the Transcontinental Railroad. But it's a fun way to get new books, um, to sort of clear out your library, um, and have fun at the same time. Hi, my name is Madeline, and um, I think it's really important to know where um, all the things that we consume and use are from. So I think that a great way to give back to the community globally and locally is to um, make something by hand, whether it be um, cook something where you know um, where the food came from or make a scarf from um, the global, things like that. Or just purchase a good that you know is fair trade. Hi, my name is uh, Chris Wazdowski and I'm here in San Francisco from Toronto, Canada. And uh, I belong to the uh, Canadian Women's Foundation in Canada, and they have a fundraising campaign that they started off last year, which is I thought was just a wonderful idea. And so what they were trying to do is get 2,500 women to pledge $2,500 over five years. And what this uh, particular program does is it helps women get themselves out of poverty. So it does a lot of things in terms of helping them to find a job or find some education to kind of get them out of that uh, that poverty environment. So it's just been a wonderful uh, type of organization to participate. And I'm here to tell you about a wonderful organization that my husband started about 15 years ago. I'm not exactly sure at the time. But um, he started actually with another person. They both um, had a dream of actually having a summer camp for kids, for inner city kids who had never really been out in the open, and that's the way they started. They took about 15 kids up to Yosemite, um, and uh, it was very successful. And they thought, let's do something more with this. So they got themselves a, 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 a director, started an organization that's now called Seven Teepees, Seven teepees mean the seven continents of the world. Um, and there are now 70 kids who go to this program uh, year round. They take them from usually uh, middle school all the way through high school with the hopes of getting them into college. Lisa, and I am just coming um, from a meeting where I was laid off from my job and thinking about actually the opportunity that this provides to me to be able to give back uh, to the community and that in particular I'd like to be able to give back to women, um, women of domestic abuse, um, people who are having a hard time through this holiday season either physically or emotionally and being able to do that in a way that could be anywhere from delivering meals or donating time or donating food um, or just um, my thoughts and support to people. That would mean a lot to me. Thanks for tuning in to today's Tuesday Talks. Catch us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for more fun and fundraising. Have a great week.